folks, Mac D here, Mac D Ford Edge, and I have a video. And this one's a little bit different. I'm sort of going beyond the scope on things, but uh, I am seeing something that is occurring. And I may be wrong or I may be right, but uh, basically, so far, I have been right. Now, what I've been right about the 2O EcoBoost. Did you all know that not all EcoBoosts are made in one location? That's right. So it depends what EcoBoost you have on the 2O EcoBoost in your Ford Edge as to maybe if you have a higher potential of engine failure. So let's go ahead and talk about the two different plants and which one is probably the better bet when you go to buy a Ford Edge at this time so let's go ahead and see what I have and then we'll talk about the other one as far as that is going now as far as all EcoBoost physically you cannot see a difference they're all the same for the most part but what is different and there's really only one way to tell and that is if you go over here and you take and look at this sticker now this sticker here is a VEP. If you see the VEP, that stands for Valencia Engine Plant. Now the other one, as you can see here, is a Cleveland Engine Plant. And it says Cleveland clearly on it. So what is the difference? One is made in Valencia, Spain, which is where my engine was assembled. And then others are made in Cleveland, Ohio engine plant. So why would I want to check where the engine was assembled? What makes up the difference? Now before we go any further, make sure you like, subscribe, join MACT Ford Edge. Also uh, the YouTube channel MACT Ford Edge. Like those videos, subscribe, help me out. Push that like button as soon as you start watching the video. It takes a nanosecond. Now let's go ahead and uh, go to the garage so we can talk more about these engines and what we can expect between the two different power plants assembled in two different locations. So let me uh, sort of spin on over there. Woo! That gets harder the older I get. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what we're talking about on these engines and see what is the better choice for your Ford Edge when you go out to buy one. What do you need to look out for? Now, as far as the uh, Ford Edge EcoBoost, like I said, you can't tell the difference by looking at them physically. Uh, the Ford Edge EcoBoost is made in two locations. In other words, it's assembled. Uh, where the parts are sourced from may depend on what we're looking at here. Uh, I have asked multiple groups, uh, checked out on the uh, water intrusion. That's right. Uh, and it's coming in the second cylinder through the head gasket. As you can see here where it's circled, uh, on this head gasket that is where it's happening now of all the engines that I've managed to get the mechanics and I have some actual mechanics work on the engines that have given me information all of them are having this issue of this water intrusion and uh, when I dive deeper uh, I get more information now I've also done some uh, quote unquote polls for people that have had this problem and granted not many have but there's one seriously consistent thing so far and I'm not going to say it's going to not affect one engine over the other but so far one engine plant is uh, starting to show its colors as they say and it's not a good thing uh, so what I'm going to tell you is not based on a scientific poll, it's based on a very small poll, but so far everything is pointing at one engine. Now can the other one fail? It might, but the question is, uh, when we're talking about the source, the source of the product as far as supplies where they're made, where they're coming from, the assembly process, is it the same? Or do we have two different processes that are going on that are slightly different that are causing a major snafu in the 2.0 EcoBoost that is upsetting a lot of folks? 
And uh, this is specifically, like I said, for the Ford Edge, but I'm sure other 2Ls are having this problem. And it comes down to where your engine was manufactured or assembled. Uh, all things being said, the engineering is pretty much the same. Uh, I don't see any differences. But uh, specifically, the 2015 through 2018 2O EcoBoost uh, manufactured at one facility is suffering the consequences of something that is happening. Whether it be the supply, whether it be the assembly, we don't know. But there so far has been really a consistent issue with the 2O EcoBoost that we're going to talk about, and that's that water intrusion in through to the cylinders. And uh, that usually calls for upwards, depending how f f you know you catch it and everything else, whether or not you're going to get one an upper. In other words, you're just going to get the new head and, and and things like that put on, or do you destroy the whole engine in the process, not knowing? You know, in other words, we're sort of some of us, and you'll admit are oblivious to what's going on with our car. We put gas in it, we turn the key, it starts, we drive. And we drive it until it stops driving. And then we complain that it's broke. <laughs> well, care and maintenance, a little bit of due diligence will help you in monitoring this. One, you check the coolant level. Watch the coolant level. If it starts creeping down, mark it, watch it. If it keeps going down, then of course you want to take it in. If you're under warranty, <laughs> I can't stress enough, if you don't have an extended warranty on this thing, you need to buy a Ford ESP uh, extended service plan. This is very important to you, otherwise your pocketbook is going to take a five, six thousand dollar hit easily. Uh, so uh, just keep that in mind. This, this is a pricey engine, it's new, and therefore you will pay the price. Uh, so you know, warranties are good. Definitely want to have that for your powertrain. At the bare minimum, get a powertrain uh, extended service plan. Don't You don't have to go the whole hog on it, but you want to make sure that thing's covered. Uh, especially if you got a 2015 through 2018 edge. I'm not sure if this is going to affect the 2019 and forward, but, you know, rest assured we're seeing it in those model years. So, uh, definitely something you may want to look into. Uh, how do they test it? Well, Ford puts it in there and, and they do a leak down test for the coolant to see if it drops like 5 psi over 25, you know, 24 hours or something like that. They got a test that has to meet certain specs, and if it don't meet those specs, then they're going to say your engine's fine. Uh, <laughs> and then you drive it until the warranty expires, then it blows up, and then then what? You know. So this is due on you and, and, you know, there's all sorts of different things going on. People are talking class actions, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to tell you what you need to know and how you need to take and monitor the situation and also protect yourself when you go to do the purchase. Now, we talked about the Cleveland engine plant. That's right. Ford has two sources for the 2O EcoBoost that they put in the Ford Edge. And you saw I have a Valencia engine plant made in Valencia, Spain. Uh, my engine speaks Spanish. Now, as far as the Cleveland, Ohio engine assembly plant, you know, that's also another assembly plant. Do they make the same EcoBoost? Yes, they do. But do they do it the same? Do they use the same supplies? What is the situation? And that's really what I don't know. But I do know that, come down to it, if you're going out and looking for a Ford Edge and you see it has a 2.0 EcoBoost and you look at that sticker on the side of the valve cover where I showed you earlier on in the video and you see it says Cleveland, Ohio, that means that engine was built in Cleveland, Ohio. If you see a VEP, that means it's built in Valencia, Spain. Now, why is this important? Because so far in all my questions to all the people I run across and all the engines, when I ask the mechanics, take a picture of the sticker, it turns out that every failure so far that I've been able to research and dig and gather information on has been the Cleveland, Ohio assembly plant. That's right. Cleveland, Ohio engine assembly plant is the one that's having the the Ford Edge 2O EcoBoost water in intrusion through the head gasket engine failures. 
so far I have not had one mechanic that has popped up and said I have a Valencia engine that has failed. And the thing about the mechanics is they don't look whether or not it's a Cleveland engine or a Valencia. They treat it as a 2.0 EcoBoost. They don't have a clue. I asked another uh, place, you know, that had a lot of Ford tax, and uh, they didn't have a clue. Of course, their attitudes weren't all that good, which basically reinforced my stereotype of them. But the fact of the matter is they didn't have a clue. They had no answer. They just said, oh, it's a 2.0 EcoBoost. Well, apparently it makes a difference where your EcoBoost was assembled. And then, of course, if you end up with that Cleveland, Ohio engine plant engine, that 2.0 EcoBoost, so far every failure that I've been able to gather up has been the Cleveland, Ohio engine plant 2.0 EcoBoost. Now, this is just a small sampling. I'm not going to say it's across the board or anything else. I'm not going to say it's a trend because my sampling is only about 30 engines. But every one of them that failed, there's like six of them, every one that failed was a Cleveland, Ohio assembled plant engine. Not one Valencia. So, you know, you take that number as you may, but what I'm going to say is, so far, the Valencias aren't failing. And the Clevelands are. So if you have a Cleveland, you need to watch out what you're doing. Watch what your coolant is and watch how it's running. Uh, will it fail? I'm not going to say it's going to fail. I have a feeling that there, there's some inconsistency in assembly someplace. And maybe on one day they get it right and the next day they don't. But uh, so far, Cleveland is the target. Okay, that's what I've determined. So if you have a 2.0 EcoBoost in your Ford Edge 2015 through 2018 or even a 19 or a 20, be aware. Be aware when you go out to check it and monitor what's going on. If you're going out to buy a Ford Edge, look at where the engine was made. So far, I got lucky. I didn't know this. I bought my 2019 and it was a Valencia engine. Okay, so I'm feeling better myself personally. I feel better for it because uh, that was one worry I didn't want to have. So that's my information that I know so far. Uh, as as that goes, you see the the engine, the head, and generally what happens is that they try to replace and fix the head. Either they mill it or fix it or whatever they're going to do. They put a new head gasket on and reassemble it, and off you go to the races. Uh, but in extreme cases, like I said, they may end up having to replace the whole engine if there's damage that occurs in the process of overheating. And uh, sometimes the heads get warped and they got to replace the head because those heads are, of course, aluminum. And high heat does not do good with aluminum. And keep in mind that, yes, they got a lot of work to do because that head is also the exhaust manifold. It's all one piece, folks. That's right. There's no separate exhaust manifold on this. It runs directly out of the head to the exhaust pipe to the turbo. So, uh, yeah, it's all in one unit. And, uh, of course, they got to disconnect the turbo and everything else to get everything fixed. So, uh, that's why it's a pricey fix. Uh, in that aspect, uh, hopefully you find some information when you go car shopping for a Ford Edge. Keep in mind, what edge and plant is it? Is it a Cleveland? And then you can search the lot. Maybe they got a few Valencias on the lot. Might be a better choice. I think knowing what I know now, I would shoot for a Valencia. Uh, because I just, you know, personally, I would not buy a Cleveland at this point uh, just for that fact. But I can also say I'm going to get an ESP just to hedge my bets because I don't want to pay five, dollars $6,000 for an engine. So, uh, you know, that's, that's where it's at. But, uh, hey, hopefully you find the information good. Remember, like, subscribe, join, all that good stuff. Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook. But don't forget Mac T Garage on YouTube. Also, Mac T Garage, uh, com, where you can find all your Ford Edge information. My feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day. And I want you to have a great day, too. Band of One's got great music. And Mercy Grill always has some great one-liners. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos. Remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.